I say that without even thinking. Not that I mean pickle as a bad thing, as opposed to, you know, pickle as a dick or something. I'm extremely grateful to be doing such great business at this island shop. But I'm starting to think that my customers might be start might start getting tired of just buying panties and swimsuits. Who the fuck get like gets bored of buying panties? So I have to find some new merchandise. Hentai probably, and that's what I'm stuck on. Ski does know a lot about trends and style. Maybe she really can help. <laughs> Doujinshi, which is, I'm pretty sure that's in that, in that, in that fucking hentai. Makes sense. All right, I'll give it a try. Shiki really does know her stuff. You rang. I didn't ring, but there she is. Murakumo, best girl! Looks like my time to shine. And there's Mirai. And I'll turn that into a comic. The comic industry's budding threat, Murakuma. The online novelist with an explosive imagination, Mira. With these two in my corner, I'll have a hit for sure. Let's go! I think they spelt breastseller wrong. If I, I can't really fight, she says with her mouth not moving. <laughs> Now on stage! Yes! Uh, my friends, we are back with a Shinobi Girls Paradise, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, at least they at least they've at least got side stories in this game, unlike fucking Burst Renewal. We'll keep your store in the black. Once you know what they say, once you go black, you don't go back. Or something. That's very, very nice. Shit, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so rusty at this game. I got the platinum trophy, and I think I played it like twice since. <laughs> it's good. Although the online is dead for this game. Disappointing. Also, that is my tactic just fucking jump in the air continuously. Low water, low water, I just use some fucking pussy juice. Oh my god, it's not water, is it? <laughs> That's why it's Peach Beach Splash, because all the girls are fucking frothing at the gash. <laughs> frothing? That is, at, like, I've said some pretty cringe things in my time, but I mean, I'm, I'm probably, it's probably up there now, just with ultimate cringe. What the f- they couldn't be bothered to change the change the, the fucking animation, so they just literally left that in. That's so fucking weird. Oh, I want these bitches to die! Down goes an ally. What fucking hell? Where is this hoe? Oh, it's only her. She can die. Don't care. Worst character. Literally. To play as and law wise. Fuck you. Doujinshi. Now thinking about it, like, I, I've got a uh, Persona 3 playthrough, and, on, <laughs> and as a joke in one of the thumbnails, I replaced a magazine on a guy's face. He goes to sleep with it on his face, and uh, I replace that with a doujin sheet. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it'll be on the screen, but like, <laughs> I literally just remembered that. That's pretty funny. 
from from the best hentai artist, obviously. You're not allowed to cringe because there is a video on this channel when I got to 15k subs saying like, oh, who, who's your favourite? No, what's your favourite hentai? I was like, what the fuck? And those uh, live streams the other day, if I can call it. I think the second one, nearly ev all of it, is talking about fucking just absolute nonsense. <laughs> Her expression was heartfelt, satisfying anguish. I want to melee her. Melee her in the in the bobs. How, how I didn't know there was a mechanic in this game that 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 caused you to be dizzy. What the? F what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> for your wonderful, for the wonderful idea. I didn't even know what the idea was because I wasn't paying attention. What story are you planning to write? She has bean sprouts. She, she, yeah, she gets she gets nakedly dunked in bean sprouts. Bon Appetit's kitchen. Oh, look, it's that hoe. Minori. Do do do. Way. Let's go. Please help help us out for the shop. <laughs> Oh god, she is fucking cringe. I used to like her, but no. <laughs> For now, just get rowdy. Give off a nice, lively vibe. It will make good reference. <laughs> that, that is that is ridiculous. They have almost fucking killed her already. The sight of her playing so innocently. <laughs> oh my god. Feelings were changing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, this comic's going to be a blast. Well, at least it's sort of made story, made sense. I wanna, I wanna read it too. Nande? Why not? Because it's going to be lewd drawings in there, apparently. Her boxer shorts. Her boxer shorts. What the fuck? Yeah, change some of the equipment because we were killing them like straight away. Defeat Emu. I like how it's literally her. Nobody about. What do we want to do? She can be our gag. <laughs> what the one that gets bound and gagged or what? Wouldn't mind doing that to Kumo. What are you gossiping about? Yeah, I gave everybody barriers for Joe. Final weapon born of Lord Vex. She was created to strike fear into all humanity. <laughs> what are you talking about? Also, her hair. Fuck her hair. It's shite. She was wearing only underwear. What the fuck? <laughs> they still defeated her like straight away. All our ideas are coming together. Then you won't be in our comment. But boxer shorts on girls are cool. I suppose one thing is like, at least the uh, at least, well, if they're wearing frilly underwear, it gets caught in your teeth, doesn't it? <laughs> or something. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just, like, snap, that's going in my cringe compilation. Let's make the comic all about cat. That's what the pros say. The client. What's this fucking gang gangster shit? <laughs> yeah, boys, stick them up. Stick them up, punk. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Please just go with it. I'm gonna let them all get knocked out for a joke. Where are you touching? Chester the molester doesn't like it when she's the one. Having her bobs and vagan fondled. 
That was pretty intense, I dare. No, I don't want to revive these bitches, look at her. Wait, she dead. I saw a nice panty shot there. I messed up. Luck was on my side today. Stupid fucking hose. With our new inspiration, Mirai Murakuma and I have completed our comic. I open the book and flip through it. Impressive, if I say so myself. Seriously, it's so well made, especially our illustrations of me and Lady Cat. There's no way this won't top the charts. <laughs> to sell it in the shop, I want. I went to the printer and made hundreds of copies. It's a lot for a first run, but I think it's a good enough story to sell out regardless. Maybe I can even start selling it in other stores on the mainland. I look at all these stacked copies and I imagine my rich romance with Lady Cat already spreading throughout the world. Just thinking about it makes my heart pound like crazy. Thinking about that, there's no hentai with uh, these two being shipped together. Just, just saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. K stands behind me, gripping the book. Streams of blood run from his nose. No! <laughs> I tried to resist as much as possible, but he rips up every copy. Oh, what a waste. But still, it's okay. The books may have been destroyed, but the heated romance has been permanently ca cra carved into my heart. I almost said craved. <laughs> Aww, how romantic of them! There we go, that was a very, very short one because, you know, reasons. It damaged. Oh, what did we get? Oh, we already got some ones we already fucking had. Shit on a shovel. So there we go, my friends. That was Ayame's business, although I'm gonna probably call it buying and selling hentai or something. But there we go. Uh, thank you very much. A bit of a shorter one today, which is pretty good for me because uh, I don't have any time to do anything. <laughs> so, um, yes, and I will see you uh, next week. Let me know what you want to see. I'll, I'll uh, read the comments and then ignore them. So uh, thank you very much for watching if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.